So you want to learn how to spice up your boring edits from something like this to something insane like this with just a shake with a couple of tweaks. Then follow along because I'm about to break it down step by step in this tutorial. But before we get into it, I'm Lurking Visuals and I run the Stay Creative store where I help editors instantly level up their edits and also speed up their workflow with all of the presets that I got linked in the description. So go and check them out before we get into the video to instantly level up your edits and let's get right into it. So I'm in After Effects right now and as you can tell, I got this young Faisal music video. I got a pretty short clip which is maybe even too short for me to work on. So the first thing that I'll be doing is adding on either a Twixter or a Time Warp effect. If you don't have the Twixter plugin, go for the Time Warp effect. They're both basically the same thing, but the paid plugin Twixter is a little bit smoother. And then I'll be changing my input frame rate to the frame rate of my clip, which is 24. Then I'll be keyframing the speed from 100 at the first frame right here, and then go like, when he puts his arms up like that, I'll turn it up to like 25 so we'll have a smooth slow-mo coming when he opens up his arms like that and then i can drag out the clip as well so i'll play it through and show you guys what it looks like and that's smooth i can actually cut the clip right there because it messes up with his hand when he starts moving so i'll actually cut it right there and I got two seconds worth of clips that I'll be working on. So now I'll be creating an adjustment layer and I'll be dragging it over a little bit. And when the slow-mo hits right here, I'll have the adjustment layer come in. So I'll drag it over there. And then I'll be adding on the first effect, which is a turbulent displays. We'll keep this turbulent displays pretty low because we want it to be really subtle in the background. So let's turn up the amount to like 80 and let's turn up the size to some really high number like 240. And then I'll be keyframing the amount and then go about one second into our clip right here. And I can drag it down to zero. I will be working with the graphs a little bit later. So for now, I'll add on a distort chrome effect. I'm going to keep the amount at 0 0.8, but we'll be turning the blur lens up a lot, like around 400. So we're getting this really blurred look. But it will look really good once we add some more effects on so i'll keyframe the amount and then press u on my keyboard and now i can see both of my keyframes then i'll drag it back to the same place where i ended my turbulent displays and turn it back to zero and now i'll be adding on a deep glow effect and it's a paid plugin so if you don't have deep glow you could use the built-in glow in after effects or a sapphire glow but for this deep glow i'll be turning up the radius to 400 as well as the exposure to 2 and then turn up the threshold to 80 so we want something that's really strong and this can also depend on your clip so if you have a pretty bright clip then i recommend that you go a little bit lower on the exposure to somewhere around one but it looks really good for my clip because we want it to be really intense at least for the first couple of frames right there and then it will turn back to zero over here and also something you should keep in mind is if you keep your deep glow at really high numbers like i'm doing right now it'll probably affect your pc a lot like i can barely play this shit through right now even though i got my quality on quarter and now i'll be adding on a sapphire shake but we'll be doing this one a little bit different so let's drag it on to the same adjustment layer i'll turn up the amplitude to 1.5 and turn down the frequency to 7 and let's turn on motion blur and as you can tell right now if i look over here we got this black border over here even though our wrap x and y is on reflect so if you want to get rid of this, you just need to put your sapphire shake above your deep glow. But it doesn't really matter for me because I'll be creating a zoom later on so it won't even be visible. But just so you guys know. And let's head down to X shake and Y shake. And over here I'll be messing a lot with the settings just to create a kind of more vertical shake. So we'll turn down the X random amplitude to 92. I'll actually turn off the deep glow for now because my PC is about to explode. Yeah, you can tell this shit's crashing. What the fuck? All right, we're back and I'll turn up the random Y frequency to 1.5 as well as the wave amplitude to 7 and the wave frequency to 0.7. Now we should have a pretty smooth vertical shake going on right here. We just got to keyframe the amplitude and go all the way in over here and turn it down to 0. Now the final thing that I'll be doing is adding on a transform effect and this is just to create a kind of zoom hit that will add a little bit extra energy. So let's turn up the scale to 150 and keyframe that. And then go all the way over here and let's reset it back to normal. And I'll be turning on motion blur for all of my effects. As well as actually adding on a tiny flicker from Sapphire. And I'll turn it up to like 0 0.5. 
and we can actually also keyframe that one so it'll go all the way back to zero over here and now i'm pretty much done with all of that so i'll press u on my keyboard and select all of my keyframes and then press f9 to ease them and i'll start with the first one over here open the graph editor and we're on the value graph right now and then i'll just simply drag down this one and drag up this one that way our effect will go faster in the beginning and have a little bit more momentum over here and then it will slow down throughout the scene and that will give us that kind of smooth look and i'll do the same for the distort chroma just do the exact same thing drag it down over there drag it up over here and then just keep doing the same thing for all of these effects and the graph for the shake doesn't have to be as intense we can let it play through a little bit more because the shake is pretty subtle and after adding all of that on we got this which is actually insane with the amount of effort that it took and if you like this effect then you have to make sure to go and check out the ultimate shake pack and with this shake pack you'll never have a boring video again i got 20 shakes in here including intense ones trippy ones they're all really essential for my music videos when i'm editing them so make sure to instantly level up your edits grab the ultimate shake pack click the link in the description right now and go and check it out but that's it for today consider leaving a like and subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one